Hey Canucks fans, let's call this a Nate Schmidt appreciation post. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Friday, January the 8th. This is where you get Canucks insight that's positive and timely. I want to thank everyone who joined me last night for my third of four division previews. It was with Kim Isles Girl 3. We looked at the East Division. A lot of fun, a lot of people on the what you call a live stream, more of a YouTube premiere, but Kim and I were both in the chat tonight, uh, last night, and then tonight, got too excited there, tonight, I wind up the series looking at the Central Division with the two Stanley Cup finalists, Tampa Bay and Dallas, with none other than Nathan Gravity on YouTube, him and his 30,000 followers, he's doing awesome stuff, and it was a really, really good chat, it flows really well, we speak, spoke about a lot in a short period of time, so I hope you join me tonight at 10 p.m. for that YouTube premiere and Nathan said that he will be lurking, not lurking, that didn't sound right. He'll be in, present in the chat as well live tonight. So I'll pump that out later on as the day goes on. Okay, today I want to talk about Nate Schmidt. I've spent a lot of the week talking about Niels Hoglander and rightfully so. We're so excited. Uh, the fact that he may be the answer to our top six problems, something that we probably weren't expecting about a week or two ago. And that's awesome. And that's all and good, well and good. And I can't wait to see what he does. If he, he's likely going to stay with Bo Horvat throughout the rest of training camp, basically cementing his spot in the top six. I want to focus on the blue line a little bit today. And a couple things I, why I want to talk about Nate Schmidt. Number one, the Vancouver Canucks released their latest mic'd up. And of course, out of all players, the first mic'd up they released out of training camp, full, full mic'd up with Nate Schmidt and we knew about his Greg Harris character his personality uh, we've heard it from Holtby from Beagle about other teammates and other fans that, that I'm close to especially Louie Vegas Golden Knights coverage who, who was in Vegas obviously and was a big Nate Schmidt fan says we're getting a character guy good in the room good on the ice and we're starting to see that already yes it's only been four days of training camp but that mic'd up was was hilarious what a personality and he, he's chirping guys he's swearing he's uh, making jokes on the ice he's he's making jokes with travis green and I actually had a good buddy joseph um he's been in a couple of my music videos he texted me this morning he goes i watched the nate schmidt mic'd up and he's exactly how i expect you to be if you were on the team and <laughs> which is true I, I chuckled back i wrote back and i said yeah you know um except uh you know maybe less swearing and and uh, I need to learn how to play hockey first. But um, I tweeted that this morning and I said, when I play roller hockey, that's kind of how I am. I'm always in a good mood, maybe because I'm not that good and I use it to compensate. But I'm always talking to teammates, of course, opponents, officials, scorekeepers, whatever it may be. And um, that speaks a lot to his personality, his character. And I think how that's going to be important in a, in a crazy, tight, compressed, stressful season. I think you need guys like that in the room. More importantly, on the ice, I am so excited for what this guy brings. We have now a bona fide one, two, a number one defenseman and a number two defenseman. It doesn't mean necessarily they're going to play together all the time. In fact, it looks like Hughes will likely play with Hamannick and Schmidt will play with Myers at least to start. But you could put Hughes and Schmidt together if you need instant offense or if you're down a goal or whatever it may be or maybe on a power play for a different look, whatever. But the fact that we have a bona fide number one and a bona, in Hughes and a bona fide number two. A defenseman. I'm not sure you, you could say that Canucks have had that since maybe the 2011-2012 days when we were stacked with the BXs and the Hamhuses and Erhoffs and Edlers of the world. And remember, that was a decade ago now. I'd say Edler has always been our number one defenseman. And would you say Tanev has been our number two for the past you know, many, many years? But look at the dynamic. The Edler Tanev, sturdy, stay at home, keep pucks out, which I guess you kind of want as a defenseman. But look at the the switch in dynamic between Edler and Tanev as our, our basically our top two defensemen, whether or not they played together or not, which they did, versus Hughes and Schmidt. Two good, fast-skating, passing, quick, agile, uh, puck-moving defensemen. And yeah, maybe Hughes and Schmidt together aren't as good defensively as, as Edler and Tanev, but uh, we'll have other stoppers like Myers and like Edler still on the team and like Hamannick that can help with that category as well. So it, it just gets me excited to think that we have a bona fide number one and number two defenseman. And I was um, 
the other thing, so we, I watched the, the mic'd up and I, I loved everything I saw and heard. But Sean and I, my eldest son, Sean and I were talking to my middle son, Jacob, about Nate Schmidt. Because Jacob, believe it or not, as much as I bug him, he's actually wanting to learn more about the Canucks. I think he's going to low-key be really invested in this season. Maybe I'll pop and get him into a few post-game live streams. I'll talk about that at the end. But really, uh, Jacob, we were trying to explain to Jacob how the Canucks got basically uh, stole Nate Schmidt from the Vegas Golden Knights. The fact that Vegas really wanted this guy named Petrangelo and he's going to cost a lot of money. So they needed to free up some money. And that's why we got Nate Schmidt for a third rounder. A uh, bona fide top pairing defenseman. And we know the odds on third rounders, they don't always work out. So what a steal. Like I, I think um, I think we really sang Jim Br uh, Benning's praises when the trade happened. But we should really be continuing to do so uh, on this trade particularly because he basically robbed the Vegas Golden Knights of Nate Schmidt to get, like I said, a top pairing, a top two defenseman for a, a third rounder, which you never know um, how that's going to turn out. So I'm excited for all those things, and I'm excited to see what Nate Schmidt can do. We saw it in uh, in the mic'd up video, just how well he skates. He's such a good passer. We saw that backhand pass from blue line to blue line. That was so sweet. Uh, he's a good communicator, obviously. And he brings a lot of energy and a lot of uh, character to the team. And I'm not saying you, you need that necessarily from a consu fan's consumption point of view. But uh, certainly within the room, I'm sure it's going to be a big help to the Vancouver Canucks. So I guess that's the, the main question today is, yes, we're, getting, we're excited about Hoglander. We're excited to see how Ulevi continues to pr progress. But I think, uh, you know, all important additions, Schmidt, Holtby, Hamannick, and Harlock. Well, three of the four H's, Holtby, Hamannick, and and Harlock, but um, I think of the of the four, the most excited about is the non-H guy is Nate Schmidt, just for everything that he's going to bring to the team. So Canucks fans, how excited are you about this acquisition? Were you excited back uh, in December when we made the trade? And how excited are you right now as we're only four days, five days away from the first game of the season? Okay, three really quick things to wrap up. So leave a comment below about Nate Schmidt. I'd love to redirect and reply to those comments. So number one tonight... 10 p.m. Pacific Time, Central Division Premier, YouTube Premier, Central Division Preview, YouTube Premier with Nathan Gravity. That's awesome. Number two, as you as I've been hinting at and I tweeted about yesterday, I'm going to be doing post-game live streams for every Canucks game that I can. So I looked at my schedule. Probably can do 80 to 90 percent of them. Probably do um, 10 to 15 minutes after game starts. As you know, um, on one of the live streams about a month ago, I got some feedback from you. And um, they said, you guys told me, don't worry about going head to head with the Canucks press conference because people can watch that later. So probably going to do 10 to 15 minutes after it. That way I can do a quick post game uh, recap video first and then jump on the live stream for 45 minutes or so after every Canucks game this season. And number three, uh, I, I won't spoil anything yet, but there's a good chance that I'll be getting to uh, a Canucks game in, in the next couple weeks at home. But uh, I'll share those details when I'm allowed to. Okay, cliffhanger there. All right, Canucks fans, leave a comment below about Nate Schmidt or anything else you want to talk about. I will redirect and reply. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks, go.